Some people cross your path and change your whole direction. I graduate in 2014 and my plan is to pursue a career in Hollywood. I want to be a producer. But I stay in the Midwest and I find myself living in St. Louis, craving opportunities to work in film and waiting for the day I can finally move out to LA. When one day a new friend asked me something seemingly mundane. Have you heard of Casey Neistat? That question changed my life. I first saw Casey back in 2016, right after his snowboarding with the NYPD video. And after that, I could not get enough. I would wake up every day after that to watch Casey's vlog like clockwork. It was a big part of my routine and I hadn't really watched YouTube before that besides random tutorials. Of course, Casey Neistat was not the first daily vlogger, but he absolutely 100% changed the game. He was so engaging, so effortlessly raw. even though we know it's not effortless at all. It's actually really hard. These last three years, like so many others, I've fallen in love with a place that I've never really been. Casey made New York a character in his brilliant stories. And so many of us have discovered and come to know New York through his eyes, literally through his lens. So I thought it was only appropriate that I see it in real life in the same way. Once I booked my trip to New York, I knew that I wanted to see and capture as much as the city as I could. But I don't really love seeing a city through tourist destinations. And I realized there was really only one way to do this. A scavenger hunt to find all the familiar places. Made it across the Manhattan Bridge. It's day two of the scavenger hunt. Heading back to the hotel. I got the shot, I nailed it. It's day three in New York. Just made it to Grand Central Station. Where was he sitting? No idea. Now we're headed to Pebble Beach for the second shot. Adrian found the first location like a champ. Not as productive as I would have hoped. Ooh, we're gonna be chasing the light on this one. We probably won't be able to get the ones that are actually on the bridge before it's dark out. Such an incredible experience getting to explore the city in this way with creators that I was mostly meeting for the first time. We were navigating trains, I had people there to watch the crosswalks to make sure I wasn't getting hit by cars as I was trying to take pictures in the middle of the intersections, grabbing coffee and tea after spending an hour and a half, two hours out in the freezing temperatures of New York. It was such a huge help having other people there to take B-roll while I got the shot. And of course, there were challenges to taking these pictures. There is literally something blocking every single one of our shots so far today. That's really in the way. <laughs> Maybe the picture will block it? All right, so this photo might be a little impossible to uh, recreate. This is like a 30 millimeter lens. This is probably like a 12 millimeter lens. To get these pictures, you wanna to try to match the focal length that was on the camera, but of course we have no idea, so we're just guessing and swapping lenses, trying our best to get it to match. There's something so invigorating about meeting up with other YouTubers, people who are also used to carrying around cameras and taking epic B-roll and just looking at a scene and a city in a very specific way. And when you're someone who's not always used to that, when you're someone who doesn't have a squad, doesn't have a YouTube squad, it can be a pretty awesome experience. And to think about those five days in New York tracking down all of those locations with these other creators, 
was only meeting them and I was only there because I decided to pursue YouTube. I used to love the idea of seeing film locations, these famous spots where famous scenes took place. But there's been such a shift in mindset, a shift in culture. When I found out I was coming here, I had no interest in seeing any of that. I just wanted to see New York as I'd come to know it. I was talking to my wife about this video, the video I'm making right now, trying to figure out when the possibilities of YouTube and content creation finally clicked with me. She said, all I remember from that time is how you kept talking about Casey's Nike video, how he took the money and went on an adventure instead of making a traditional ad. You were so excited about it and pumped about the idea that more brands need to and are going to be doing this, paying creators to create, to tell stories. I continued to watch this guy just, man, just pursue what he loved doing. This unconventional filmmaker, a storyteller without a gatekeeper. I was in awe, but then, <laughs> then Casey started making more and more sponsored content. And that really was the catalyst. When I truly started to understand the potential of sponsored content, that was the turning point. Casey Neistat altered my reality by introducing me to the concept of sponsored content, to this amazing community of creators showing he cares about philanthropy, that it's possible to build a company, inspiring me to create more, to explore and be curious by showing that every day, every life is a story. He changed my understanding of how storytellers can impact the world. Because Casey Neistat drew me into this other dimension of filmmaking, I've now figured out what the world needs that also fulfills me every day. I get to combine my three passions, entrepreneurship, social impact, and creativity into my work every single day. From the time I was 12 years old, I thought I wanted to work in Hollywood. And now I watch so many of my friends pursue that Hollywood dream, hoping wishing that they'll get the opportunity to make their first film. And I'm so grateful that's not me. That right now, I get to make a movie every day. And that I have the opportunity to make a software to help other creators make films about causes they care about. Those three things, social good creators and brands who know they have to connect with us based on shared values, I don't know if I would have made the connection without Casey's content. I hope I would have. Maybe I would have. But it probably would have taken years longer than it did. It's so funny now how we can follow people online, follow their lives, feel connected through stories, and in turn, they can have such a huge impact on your life. And after being inspired by Casey for years, I wanted to see the spaces, the places, that inspire him to create. And I made it to so many of them, but there is one place left to see. It's so cool that after all this time of wanting to come back to the city, see this incredible place that Casey, indirectly, but Casey's the one who brought me here. Eight seems like the mecca for all YouTubers. There were a hundred of us here for the Creators Offline conference. That's a hundred individual stories on how they got here, officially here, to this moment. wild to think about the ripple effect of our decisions. 
how many thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people has Casey Neistat changed the direction of their life in some way since he started telling stories? And I wanted to ask that question. Has Casey Neistat changed your life? I think Casey has changed my life significantly. Casey Neistat did change my life. Yes, because that was my first introduction into what YouTube is truly about. Yeah, he's the reason why I moved to New York City. Oh, 100%. Inspired the whole game. 100% yes, Casey Neistat changed my life and what I believed was possible for my life. Casey Neistat did change my life, so I'm a daily vlogger of 188 days today. The answer would be yes, because right now we are sitting in 368. You can make an argument about how he reshaped this entire vlogging niche. Yes, 100% Casey Neistat changed my life. I had for years past been making videos, but I didn't know that there was a sphere like this that existed. It's because of Casey that I had the courage to start making videos, and now I consumed my life and I'm in film school and changed the direction of my career simply because Casey got me into vlogs and film and videos. There's this idea of like film and movies that's like way out here and like you need a master plan, a master story, otherwise you got nothing. And he taught me that I could make a movie out of something small, I could make a movie out of my day, I could make a movie out of a 30 second moment. I carried this thing around everywhere I go, and, and Casey really triggered that and inspired that. He gave me like inspiration and started. Even the smallest thing matters, and me finding that Casey Nasta snowboarding video and clicking on it was the first see. I do this for a living, and I love every second of it, all because of the spark, the drive I saw in his videos. And I certainly didn't know that you could build a business off of the fun, silly internet videos what I do all the time now, that's what my career is. Casey was doing it in New York and I would see him around doing it. And I'm, then I was just like, all right, it's time to do it. Because of what he's done, as it kept growing, other people kept getting inspired by what he was doing. And then those other people started inspiring other people. So through just a huge butterfly effect, there's so many other people that I look up to as creators, as well as myself, were inspired by him. I wouldn't have gone down the YouTube route if it wasn't for Nathan, and Nathan wouldn't have gone down the route if it wasn't for Casey. He expedited my process in realizing that a film, a movie, is just around the corner. It's pretty surreal to be here in a place that you've seen, you know, a million times on his blog or his YouTube channel, and now we're standing here, like, about to talk to a bunch of people in his space. This space, 368, means so much to so many, but it's not really about the space. It's about an idea that we can create, that we can blow past the traditional, that we're not weird for carrying around a camera, that we're not alone, that we're a community, and a powerful one. The last moment in 368. Here it is. For now. You can feel something big is coming. It's already here, but it's building, it's growing, and I honestly believe that so much of that momentum started with Casey's first push. I have so much gratitude for all the creators I've met before and here in New York at 368. You can feel the energy from having all of these people together in one room, and it's exciting. It's big, and I cannot wait for the day you have the same experience. And Casey, I couldn't end this video without a very simple thank you for everything you've done, do, and will do for the community. So many of us are going after it, chasing our passions now because of some way that you have crossed our path. I hope I can have as great an impact on the world.